All right, so Chase and I are up in DC, and as you guys know that we're planning on moving up here um, towards the end of the year, so we are grabbing some food, but we're gonna start looking at some apartments. So I'm gonna show you some of the different apartments. Now keep in mind, DC is very expensive. We're gonna be right on the outside of DC, in the Clarendon Arlington area, um, but it's very pricey. So trying to find the best place with the best amenities. Amen admin amenities? Amenities. An amenity, an amenity. An 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 This is a uh, two bedroom with a den. I like the back stuff. So this unit has three bathrooms. <laughs> this is just the bathroom for the den, which is right here. So it's like you could, if I had like a computer, you could put like a computer right there. Workspace. Burp. Okay, so we're going to look at the second apartment. We stopped in at this place called Ray's Hell Burger. And I didn't even get a burger. I got a steak and cheese. This is a third pound of meat. Um, and then extra crispy sweet potato fries, which are actually better than regular fries. If you guys have not had sweet potato fries, I'd highly recommend them. I'm um, not sure why they put yellow cheese on a steak and cheese. I don't think that makes sense, but we gotta crush this. On to the next part. Going on a journey to find the leasing office. Into the world. It's for MTV. Yes. Well, I can pay for MTV. It's not that big. Well, I have to, you have to fill out a consent form. Well, let's do it. This is also 24 hour access for all of our residents out here. Um, this is 24 hours? I like this little kitchen. This is the, uh, the they don't have any bigger bedroom, bigger ones to show us. This is like the smallest one they have. Um, so this is not what we would want to get, but it's very basic. Don't want basic. All right, so we just looked at the uh, second apartment. Really, really liked it. Uh, it was, the one we looked at again was like the, the base model. That's not the one that we would, we would look at. Uh, they showed us one that has like a two bedroom and a den. And that one was actually pretty cool. But uh, we're still gonna see, you know, what else is out there and what our other options are. That one didn't have a pool, so that's not too cool. But you know, you never know what you're gonna find. There's tons of apartment places out there. Dang! Every day that I see a Mazda CX-5, I, I pat myself on the back and thank myself that I did not get it. Ugh. Brand new apartment thing. So Chase and I actually just signed a uh, hold on an apartment. Now originally I wanted to move up in November because Chase's lease ends at the end of June so I might end up moving up sooner than I thought because we found an apartment that's really, really nice. Um, it's got a lot of cool features about it. It's got like a rooftop pool. It's really up to date. It's brand new. It's literally less, uh, six months old. All right, so here we go. This is a tour of it. Go in and it has island kitchen. And then this is the second bedroom, which is a little smaller, but you get your own terrace. So this would be Chase's room, because I'm gonna pay a little extra. Um, he'll get the terrace, like right here, and then I'll pay a little bit extra to have the bigger bedroom, because I have a lot more stuff with like my shirts um, and all that. And I'm gonna give him, that other bedroom's gonna have two closets. So he'll have this bedroom, get his bath, Here's the open, we'll have the sectional couch probably back here. Chase is getting a 65 inch TV. I'm gonna probably put that on that wall. Um, the counter or the table right here. So then here we have the bedroom which would be mine. Um, it's a little bigger, but it's very oddly shaped. It's like a big triangle. Um, maybe you guys can help me try to figure out where I'm gonna put stuff because I have a bed, two nightstands, which just plenty of space in this wall. But I have a 60 inch TV and a desk and then I'll have like all my shirts and stuff here until something else happens where I can store them. But um, with this wall, it does, it's not big enough for like my 60 inch TV to go right there so I'm not really sure what I do because it has this other closet. 
here is the master closet, which is huge. Um, if you guys can help me figure out where to put my desk, my bed, and my TV, that'd be great. And then a pretty big master bed or bathroom with uh, his and her sinks for me. <laughs> and the stand-up shower, which I really, really like. Gotta put my rain waterfall shower head, but very, very cool, guys. So DC is happening. So this would be the uh, the rooftop pool. This is a heated heated pool. And then just to give you an idea of the city view from here. Pretty cool. All right, so if you made it this far, we've been looking at some apartments, we found one. What we're gonna do is actually keep looking even though we put a little like a deposit down, or we put a hold yeah. um, for our apartment. We're gonna see what else is available. I think I'm just gonna turn this into kind of a flippity vlog, so it's not gonna be that much lifting, but we are gonna go see, keep walking, man. <laughs> can't walk, he can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Um, it's so not even chewing gum. I know. It's, it's a cough drop. So we are actually gonna go check out some gyms as well, so that'll be cool, so stick around for the end of the video for that. And um, yeah, it's DC vlogging. Keep on, go grab a sandwich, and uh, enjoy, guys. So something that's very important to both Chase and I is location. So it, basically, we were right size outside of DC. So like we could get to DC if we drove within like five minutes, probably maybe five ten minutes. So technically, I'll say that I live in DC, even though technically. I'll live in Virginia, District of Columbia, right in the little bit outside of, <clears throat> to the north of VA. But, um, really excited to move up here, guys. I mean, it's good for, it's good for change. You don't always want to be worried about what's going to happen because, you know, you could love it. You could do some, you know, standard change in your life and absolutely love it. I think I'm going to be very excited up here. Um, it's, a, it's a big move. It's, a, it's scary because you don't know what's going to happen. I don't know anyone. But um, I'm gonna make the best of it and I'm gonna have a great time up here. 7 Eleven's everywhere. I love it! I'm affiliated with Quest, and yet I'm gonna buy a bar because I'm really hungry and I don't have any. Let me try. Right. <laughs> Get out of there! Get the corn out of my face. So we are at another apartment complex. Look. We're gonna hold the camera. This is on the uh, the 12th floor. It's very cool. Each room gets its own like balcony. It's got a good view. But uh, this one's about 100 square feet less than the one we really like, and it's about 150 dollars more per person. So I don't know. It's hardwood throughout, and I really like carpet in the bedroom. But it's cool that it gets like a balcony and a view. But meh. Mm -hmm. right here. This would be one of the bedrooms that hardwood all throughout though. Big closets. Uh, very big closets. DC traffic dough. Alright, so we're gonna go check out this gym. It's called Balance Gym. I believe it's like a CrossFit style. Um, thing they have like a bunch of different locations, and this one's supposed to be like their sports performance training one. So I'm really just looking for a place that has a big open area where I can film for you guys, and uh, you know have an effective workout, barbells, power racks, the whole nine yards. It is down in the hotel. That was in the uh, the Lost show. That song. So yeah, it's in uh, Blood's hotel. So we're in here, and it feels like they have the dumbbells probably go up to heavier than I can use. Where are these drugs here? Uh, oh, uh, I think like 120, 125, but it feels like a very hotel gym with like one bumper, one stand. I gotta film this get really busy really fast because there's like one bench, a power rack. Not about it. Yeah, there's like a crossfit section down there, but so now we're down in the uh, the 
CrossFit section of this gym. And uh, with DC, the areas that you have to work out are not as diverse as maybe they are in a lot of different areas. So there's not that many like strength gyms or specific powerlifting gyms. That's what I was hoping that a CrossFit box would be somewhere I could go and just train freely. So here we have like a kind of, you know, CrossFit stuff, I guess. I don't know how to do it. And they have like some different racks and they have a bunch of bumper plates. And the guy at the front desk was saying that this is like a whole different section. You can come out here and do whatever you want. Um, you can film down here and whatnot. And this, you know, it might, it might work temporarily because there is some machines up there. They even have like a reverse hyper, which is nice. But um, in terms of longevity, absolutely not. But I don't know, sometimes you gotta work with what you have and then try to make the best of the situation. And then kind of, uh, you know, I have some things in the works that hopefully will get me out of this potentially. But we're still gonna look around, see if there's any other stuff. I don't know how busy this place gets, and it's very loud, where it echoes. Echoes, echoes. echoes. You're an idiot! <laughs> You're an idiot, I'm an idiot! But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Right. Second location of the same gym. Let's see how this one is. So we're going to the second floor. This gym seems a lot more promising. She said everyone, there's a lot of power lifters here, a lot of comp comp that compete. Um, first floor is CrossFit, second floor is gonna be strength and conditioning, free weights, Olympic lifting. Could be pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like they have about seven squat racks, a bunch of equipment, some cables. Uh, I believe they, these dumbbells probably go up, look to be heavy, two sets of dumbbells. A lot of power racks, Olympic lifting platforms. So, a lot more promising than the first one. So, um, this one's a lot more promising than the other one. A lot more room with the, looks like there's three platforms to do deadlifts on um, for Olympic style. And then there's, I don't think you could do deadlifts over here. Probably they want them to do on the platform. And uh, I have a lot of squat racks. And it looks like a lot of free benches, so you could put a lot of them in there. Looks like they have a, a rack pool um, thing right there, actual equipment. So I think realistically, this would be a, what I would choose to do. Uh, significantly more than that one. What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts, Chase? Okay, this is a lot better than the first one we looked at. Uh, it's got all like a bunch of racks, a lot of actually pretty good accessory stuff. Um, I mean, for your purposes, my purposes. On. Pretty cool. So now we're gonna get some food, but one thing about DC, uh, there's not really any parking, it's all like street parking, except for Sunday, we got lucky. But, so what we have to do is actually ride the Metro, which I've never done, we're gonna train, but ride the Metro, you know, to and from work, and then get home, relax, we have some food, and then ride the Metro to and from the gym. So, again guys, you gotta make do with what you have if you want things to work. So I really wanna make this DC thing happen. I have a lot of cool, uh, Exciting stuff <laughs> that's up here that um, you guys will come to learn in the next couple months. But make do with what you have. Now let's go to some food. Alright, so to wrap up this little trip, we stopped at a Persian restaurant called what? Albor's. Albor's. And basically got some kebab with no stick, got some beef, rice with uh, whatever this is on top. Roasted tomato, and pickle, lime, chicken. So we're gonna crush this down, a lot of rice, and then uh, hit the road. So, hope you guys enjoyed. The little bliggity blow. Goodbye.